So let's get into the first one. Let's talk about carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are one of the essential macromolecules, uh, plays a really critical role in all living organisms. Uh, carbohydrates, sometimes referred to as sugars or saccharides, uh, might be more familiar to you. Um, they're organic compounds, again, composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Uh, they come in a range of forms from simple sugars, which are just single sugars, and we'll look at those in a minute, things we call monosaccharides. Um, also disaccharides, which are two uh, single sugars bonded together, and then really complex polysaccharides that are found in a huge range of foods, um, fruits to grains, um, when we talk about com complex carbohydrates, right, as opposed to simple carbohydrates. Uh, you may be familiar with those kind of terms from talking about eating, right? Um, the primary role of carbohydrates is to provide quick, accessible form of energy for cellular activities, right? Organisms store excess energy in the form of glycogen in animals and starch in plants. Uh, and these stored carbohydrates can be converted back to glucose uh, on demand uh, and in, in high volume as needed. Uh, carbohydrates also have really important structural roles, um, particularly when we think about uh, plants. So cellulose, which is what paper is made out of, um, contributes to the structural integrity of plant cell walls, which in turn is a really important role. Like think of trees and how tall they can stand. Cellulose plays a really, really important role in that. Um, carbohydrates, again, they're vital for their role in, as an energy source, but also as structural elements. So. The basic building blocks of carbohydrates, the simple sugar or a monosaccharide. And I've got three examples here on the slide. Uh, monosaccharides are just the simplest carbohydrates and they consist of a single sugar unit. Um, common monosaccharides include glucose, which is the primary source of energy for cells, uh, fructose, which is found in fruit, fructose, uh, a galactose, which is a component of lactose. Lactose happens to be a disaccharide. Um, you know, right, lactose, we see it in uh, cow's milk or milk in general. Um, lots of people are lactose intolerant, meaning you lack the enzyme necessary to break lactose into its two monosaccharides. That's what lactose intolerance is. Lactase breaks galactose away from the other, uh, the other sugar that it's bonded to. All right, all three of these happen to have the same chemical formula. If you look at this image, right, um, C6H12O6. That means there's six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Um, that structure, the same chemical formula, but if we look at the picture, right, all three of them, they're a little bit different, which allows them to bond differently to each other. All right, disaccharides, uh, that just, so mono meant one, di means two. Um, this is formed when two monosaccharides are joined together through something called the dehydration synthesis. Um, dehydration synthesis, it's named that because you, you lose a water as you bond them together. Um, examples of disaccharides include sucrose, like table sugar, like stuff you might add to tea or coffee. Um, that's made up of a gluto glucose and a fructose. And then lactose, uh, which is you know milk sugar like we just talked about, which is a glucose and a galactose. All right, now let's look at complex carbohydrates, polysaccharides. Uh, so these are what they sound like, lots of sugar, single sugar subunits bonded together to form complex structures. Um, they serve as energy storage molecules and structural components in cells. Uh, so some examples, starch in plants, uh, that's, how, that's how plants store their glucose for long-term use. Uh, glycogen, which is how we animals um, store our glucose. Uh, cellulose, uh, which you know again is uh, you know what paper is made out of, uh, is another polysaccharide forms those structural components in plant cell walls. Another interesting one is chitin, which you may be familiar with that term, but chitin uh, makes up the exoskeleton of arthropods, most insects. 